So in this third part, I'll show you how to create the stories header in our Instagram app. As you can see, we're getting the thumbnails of the people who have published stories. And we can scroll through this to see all the stories that are available to us. So let's begin. So we'll start from where we left off. We have a content inside which we display our card component. Here inside the content, we'll create a header. So that'll be a view. Inside that view, we put in a text which says stories and we'll put in another text which says watch all. So that doesn't look really nice. Let's style that a little. So firstly, we'll give a height to our header. So we'll give it a height of 100. Inside that, what we'll do is we'll put these two texts inside another view. And we'll style this view with a flex of one. Flex direction of row. And what we'll say is justify content space between. Let's save that out. As you can see, that looks better. We want the stories on the left and the watch all button on the right. What we'll also do is we will uh, give this an align items of center. And we'll give it a padding horizontal so that it's a little away from the corners of seven. So there it's taking up the two corners, but it's taking up the whole space here. So what we'll do is we'll put in another view here and we'll give it a style, which will be a flex as well, but we wanted to take more space than the first one. So we'll say a flex of three. So you can assume that's a ratio of about one is to three. So there you see the text has moved up to the top. So here in the empty space here, we'll put in a scroll view, which allows us to scroll horizontally. So let's import the scroll view in first. Come here and we'll say scroll view. Here we need to display the thumbnail of the user. So native base provides us with a neat component called thumbnail. Let's import that in. Come down here and type thumbnail. And we'll pass in the source. So I've already stored the thumbnails in a folder. The stories header thumbnails. And let's close that out. So there we see we're getting a thumbnail. Let's style that up a little bit. So we'll say style is equal to margin horizontal of five, border color of pink, and a border width of two. Save that out. And as you can see, we've got a border there. And it's also got a margin from the left. Let's just copy this thumbnail a couple of times. And as you can see, it's not exactly displaying as it should. So let's just make some changes to our scroll view. Let's put in some styles here and some properties. So the first property that we're looking at is horizontal, which is equal to true. This makes the scroll view scroll horizontally. Next, we'll say shows horizontal indicator equal to false. This makes sure that when you scroll, you don't see the indicator that when you're scrolling right now, you'll see the indicator on the side, which will not display. Let's first save this out and see how that looks. And it seems I spelled horizontal wrong here. And as you can see, horizontally, it's working correctly. Next, let's just add some styles here. So we'll say content container style. And inside that, we'll say align items of center. And we'll put in a padding start of five and a padding end of five as well to space out the first and the last element. If we save that out, we see the images come down a little. So what I'll do is quickly, I'll change up these images and add a few more images. So there you can see we've got a few other images and if we scroll this right now, we should see it scrolling. So one last thing I want to do over here is make the stories and the watch all text a little bold and put in a play button over here. So let's do that. Come here to the top. What we'll do is we'll put this particular text into another view. And inside this view, we'll put in an icon. So we'll say icon name. We'll put in the MD play icon. We see the icon is huge and it's not even fitting in. So let's style the icon, give it a font size of 14. We also need to style the parent view. So it says style, flex direction, change that to row. And we'll say align items of center. So there we see the icon is displaying correctly. 
let's just make the text a little bold now so we'll say style and we'll just use font weight to make the text bold and I'll just copy that into the other text so there you can see it looks very similar to the stories header in an actual Instagram app obviously this border in the app is actually a gradient here we've just used one color for simplicity so this was another short video. I hope you guys like this and try this out.